Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. Today let's talk about remediation for reentrancy and how different functions such as send, call, and transfer handle value transfers differently and as such can cause different types of issues. There are various different functions that can transfer your Ethereum. Here we see three different options for sending value in our smart contract. The one we used in the last video was call.value. This is a low level function which returns false on a failure and can cause other issues. It also forwards all the available gas costs, allowing for a re-entrancy attack. We also have the send and the transfer functions available to us. These two functions fix the re-entrancy issue by having a gas limit of 2300. However, the send function is also a low level function, much like the call to value function, meaning it does not handle its own errors. You still need to parse out the Boolean return value and throw an exception yourself. The best option would be to use the high level function transfer. Transfer also has a gas limit, but additionally will throw an error if an exception occurs. This prevents some issues from arising. An example of an issue when not checking return values would be if a user sent ether and the account value was updated, but the function failed. If you were not checking the return values and the updating the account balance after the failure, the ether would not reflect the proper value in the user's account and the recipient would not receive the ether, leaving the ether locked up in the smart contract and inaccessible to anybody. Rather than having any of these issues crop up, let's fix them before they happen. Let's go through some live remediation. The first remediation, if we are using the call, is to switch the order of operations. The value should be updated before the call, so when we check the account balance during the attack, it cannot go past the actual value of our account. Next, you will see a warning that tells us the low-level function is not checking the return values. So let's change this to a high-level function, transfer. This will remediate reentrancy with a gas limit and throw errors if the transaction fails. That's really all there is to remediation of reentrancy. Always be mindful of the order of operations and if you're using a high level or a low level function. Depending on which you choose, you may need to handle your own error handling and perform additional operations the high level function would handle for you. Next up, we'll start digging into a new vulnerability. We're gonna dive deep into making direct calls with Web3 to bypass DAP restrictions and understand new environmental setups for hacking blockchain applications. I hope you learned something, and if you did, hit the like button below. And if you want to be updated of new videos, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.